Part 2 of the classic game room review of the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. Let's take a look at some more gameplay from this terrific science fiction shooter. Later in the review I show some footage from the second half of the game and there's some surprises. So if you don't want to see anything from later in the game, just stop watching now. I'm, I thought I would just give you a heads up. When it comes to science fiction, I'm pretty particular. For me, the Riddick character is too one-dimensional for films. It's as if he's always untouchable, he's always going to break out of whatever prison, and I don't understand the whole economics of the prison system of the future, where they'll pay big bucks to house Riddick. I mean, all he does is cause them problems and cost them money, and usually all of their lives as well. They should be paying Riddick to stay out of prison. Anyway, the character is a lot more believable and a lot more fun in this video game. Because like most games, you're always fairly indestructible anyway. At least when you figure out how to play the game. Captain, I got him. I got Riddick. Man the drones now. Those guys remind me of the Borg. Hey, let's play a game. Where I beat you into submission by proxy. One thing I like about this game is that if you run out into a room full of bad guys shooting you, or if you try to run up to somebody who's machine gunning you from uh, three feet away, your character will cease to be, and you'll restart at the previous checkpoint. You don't have to take too much damage in this game to end up getting your character killed off and having to restart. It's a good day to die, ain't it, Rick? In some games these days, it's like somebody can unload an entire minigun into you and the screen turns red or black and white or whatever and you just hide behind a barrel and you're on your way. In this one, you have a health bar at the top left or you have those health blocks, whatever they're called. And they diminish when you get shot. And then you can refill your health at those cool health machines. A mech. Should be worth a few laughs. It drives me crazy when they throw your character into a tank or onto a turret in a jeep in a shooter, but I love mech scenes. These never get old for me. In fact, I could have used more mech. But I can forgive you, Riddick. One thing I like about this game is that it focuses on the single player campaign. It has multiplayer, but I get the feeling that the single player storyline is the focus of this game and it's so well done. The selection of weapons in the game seem believable and when you bring down some of those drones, you can then pick up their gun while it's still attached to them so you can't run around with them. It's, it's something so simple, yet it's a lot of fun. It's really cool to see them do that. Oh, and they get extra credit for having terrific menus in this game. Very well designed, they look cool, they're easy to navigate. An often overlooked element of these games. The disc has two games on it, Assault on Dark Athena and Escape from Butcher Bay. In both games you can pick up little unlockable cards or packs of cigarettes that then unlock content. There's some cool drawings and character renderings and information on the characters and some movie clips. If you're into comic book style art and just some game design stuff, I think you'll find that really cool. And I got right up to a part of the game which was very challenging and ended up fighting with, fighting with one of the main characters and I thought I was winning the game right there. And to my surprise, that was really about the halfway point in the game. This is a long game, one that should occupy you for many hours. And I'll give away something, you don't stay on the spaceship for the entire game. Which is something else I like. I like the change of environments. In a way, this game reminds me of the film Serenity. Those Firefly fans out there should know what I'm talking about. They just do a really nice job with this screwed up Wild West kind of future. And whether you like the movies or not, 
If you like science fiction shooters, this is one to check out. And I'd recommend it as a purchase, just due to the overwhelming size of the game and the multiplayer. Top of that hill and you're in the crap factory, so get on with it. Flip switch and boom! Don't know what hit him. Ah, you see. Don't make me think about something else. Give me the key. This is the PS3 version of the game. There are trophies, and they're not terribly easy to get, considering how long the game is and they spread the trophies over both games. Assault on Dark Athena and Escape from Butcher Bay. Sector Bravo 5, deploying airstrike spider turrets. All officers in vicinity move. I'm going to cover Escape from Butcher Bay in a separate review. It is also an excellent game, although I preferred Assault on Dark Athena. They're very similar in some respects. See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.